Hi Shilda. This is your physical science facilitator, SS from Kovato Group of Schools. Welcome to the online classes. Children, except the flash of Paris event has completed. After giving a gist regard after uh, coming this gist about tasks and bases, I'll go for that. POP, flash of Paris. First let us see. What we learnt regarding to the acids. Once you see the gist about this, what we learnt? Acids. First of all, preparation. How the acids are prepared? Non-metallic oxide dissolves in water. Non-metallic oxide dissolves in water. So, acids are prepared. Next, indicators. Blue litmus changes into red. Methyl iron changes into red. Phenolphthalein colorless. It's about indicators. The acidic medium. Acidic medium, these are the colors of the indicators. Then, what is the common thing in the acids? H plus ions or H3O plus ions in aqueous solution. We need one activity also. Taking a bulb, conductivity, whether the bulb is glowing or not. So, with the help of that, we are going to identify the common ions that are going to present in acids. Next, about the reactions. Acids react with metals and liberate hydrogen gas. And acids react with carbonates and bicarbonates, release carbon dioxide and water. Of course, in the two cases, salt is carbon. The respect to salt is going to be formed. And when the acids are react with bases, salt and water is formed. When acids react with bases, salt and water is formed. Of course, here I didn't write the metallic oxides. Why? Because metallic oxides are also basic in nature. Okay, so that I did not mention that one. Then about the pH values. The pH value is 0 to 3. 0 to 3, then those are strong acids. When pH is 3 to 7, those are weak acids. So by this gist, you can easily conclude what we learn about the acids. Clear? Just pause the video and make your own gist. Have understood children? Just pause the video and make your own gist. Or if you want or uh, any other things, you may be it. Okay. So, by making this one idea, immediately your idea will come to your notice because you are going to prepare your own gist. Okay. Have understood? So just pause the video and not it down. Okay. Then we will see about the basis. Okay, children. So already we saw this regarding to the acids. Now it's about bases. How can we prepare the bases? When metallic oxide dissolves in water, bases can be prepared. So preparation is over. Now indicators. Red litmus changes into blue. So the red litmus changes into blue in acidic medium. And the indicator, methyl orange indicator in acidic medium, its color is about yellow. And phenolphthalein changes into pink. That's about the indicators. Then what is the common thing that's going to present in your base? OH minus ions in aqueous solutions. In aqueous solutions. Then reactions. Very less reactions are there with respect to base in our syllabus. When they react with the acids, salt, water is formed. When they dissolve in water, OH minus ions will give the both are same, these two. And when non-metallic oxides, when bases are react with the non-metallic oxides, again they will produce salt and water. Here one common example is the non-metallic oxide, carbon dioxide, and base is about calcium hydroxide. Salt about calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, what do you call that? Marble or? Okay, of course, quick lime, CaO is quick lime, and limestone, CaCO3 is limestone, that uh, carbon names are also there. Okay, so don't forget about preparing that one also. Serial number, chemical name, carbon name, and form. So, like that also, you have to prepare one chart. Then it is very easy to analyze. Then, what about the pH values? If the pH value is 7 to 10, those are weak bases. If the pH is 11 to 14, strong basis. 
weak bases, 7 to 10 is weak bases, 11 to 14 is strong bases. Okay, so it's about a mind map regarding to the bases. You can prepare your work by adding few more things also. Okay, children? Right. Now let us see about the POP, plaster of Paris. Okay. Okay, now the last topic is about plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris, commonly called as POP. POP. Plaster of Paris. What is the formula? CaSO4 half H2O. Half H2O. So it is the common name. POP. Plaster of Paris is the common name. But what is the chemical name? Calcium sulfate heavy hydrate. Calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate heavy means half. Half hydrate means what? Okay. So why half molecules? Half water molecule. How it is written? Half molecule. Technically it is not possible. Technically it is not possible. Remember that. But what is the crystallization of water? What is the last uh, sentence in the crystallization of water? For each formula unit, for each formula unit, this one mole or one particular unit of formula, how many number of water molecules that are going to present that what you call crystallization of water. Here one unit of calcium sulfate. Actually, here two units of calcium sulfate will take one water molecule. Two units of calcium sulfate will take two, oh sorry, one water molecule. But what is the definition? Each formula unit, if two units of calcium sulfate is having one water molecule, what about one calcium sulfate? That is about half water molecule. Okay. So, don't forget, technically it is not possible. Technically it is not possible, but in general acceptance you have to be concerned like this. Two units of calcium sulfate is going to take one water molecule, then one unit of calcium sulfate will take half water molecule. Okay. Is it possible to take half molecule? It's not possible, no. So that we have to use that. Have you understood the formula? Plaster of Paris, POP. Chemical name is about calcium sulfate of heavy hydrate, half mark in button. Question? Ah, actually POP is prepared by a doctor in Paris. Once his son had has injured. Okay, unexpectedly uh, the gypsum, unexpectedly gypsum has been uh, uh, placed very near of uh, one thermit. One thermit, you know about one thermit. So there, few water molecules has been gone over there from the gypsum. Then he observed a new substance of POP. Then, that POP has designed, and after operation it has been designed, how where it has been kept in the bowl. The same, the same design has been attained by this particular one. With the help of that, he modified that uh, some chemical reactions and etc. that he prepared this POP of, uh, after packing that hand which has been injured by the particular person or by his son. Then it made uh, the support, it gave the support to the fractured bones. Okay, actually the uh, main purpose of the POP is to give the support for the fractured bones. But nowadays we are misusing that for making of ties, different ties, especially during when I actually we observe plenty of ties are being given by but uh, it's uh, not eco friendly. Okay, so let us see the uses of this POP. Uses of POP. First is about it will give the support to the fractured, fractured bones. Fractured bones. Give you the support. Next one, to prepare ties. Ties are the ideals. Ideals are ties prepare preparation. The preparation of ties are ideals. And one more thing, it is not a good conductor of sound. It is not a good conductor of sound. So it can be used as a soundproof. Soundproof, especially in the uh, maybe seminar halls and theatres, uh, maybe in uh, some without auditoriums. Okay, there we are going to use as a soundproof. Soundproof conductors, no? Then, different, uh, you know, ceilings, different uh, decorative purposes. Decorative purpose. Decorative purpose also, we are using this PO, plaster of Paris. Okay. And, one common question has given here. 
always this POP, always this POP should be stored in airtight containers. How to store the POP in airtight containers? How to store the images now? It will give the support of the factory boards. It can be used to prepare toys or diodes. It is a not good conductor of sound, so it can be used as soundproof uh, instruments as especially auditoriums, theatres and seminar halls and etc. Okay, and it is also used as a decorative purpose. The decorative purpose to cover the ceilings and etc. we are using. Okay, right. So this POP, this plasma pilot should be packed in airtight containers. Airtight containers. Why? If it has exposed into air, if it is exposed to air, then what happens? What is there in the uh, atmosphere? Water is there. It will absorb. It will absorb the water molecules. It will absorb the water molecule and convert it to calcium sulfate of 2H2O called as gypsum. Gypsum. So, if you are not going to store, if you are not going to store this POP in airtight containers, then what happens when you expose it to air? It will absorb the water molecule and converts it to gypsum. Then what is the use of uh, uh, POP? If you are going to uh, get the POP to design the ideal or etc. Or if you give support to the fractured board. The gypsum doesn't have a kind of property to give the support no? Okay, so POP should be stored in. POP should be stored in air tank containers. And of course, it is about calcium sulfate of the H2O no? from this gypsum. From this gypsum also, we can get uh, this POP. But carefully, you have to keep up to 373 Kelvin. Up to 373 Kelvin. Don't forget the process of heating should be very careful. Okay, because only uh, for one unit of calcium sulfate, half water molecule you have to attain. No? So, the process of heating should be very uh, Carefully hot is means you have to absorb each and every point of second how it is going to be changes. Okay, then you will get POP. What is the temperature needed here? 300 degrees, nothing but 100 degrees Celsius, no? The water, water is going to be evaporated. But carefully hot absorb uh, how many number of particles are going to be uh, left over there. Okay, then we can observe whether the POP is formed or not. It is a, uh, like this, right? It is exposed in air, it will form gypsum. When you heat the gypsum, you will get PO. Okay, clear? Right. So now, it is about our acids, bases, and salt chapter. I think I covered all the topics in the acids and bases, and some generalizing questions may come, which uh, I am not going to done because CC pattern now. Different questions, different mode of questions may become. For example, like this CH3COOH or distilled water. So, the distilled water or CH3CO, CH3COOH is an acid. It is an acid. When you use this acetic acid, just like in the container, two electrodes, and connected to a bulb, remember this. Okay, when you connect your bulb with the help of a cell or a battery, then the bulb may not glow. Even though it is an acid, even though CH3COOH is an acid, acidic acid, but the bulb is not going to glow because it is a weak acid. The sufficient H plus ions, the sufficient H plus ions may not be released in aqueous solution and may not convert into hydronium ions. Sufficient, sufficient number of H plus ions. Okay, so even though it is an acid, it won't release the sufficient H plus ions to glow the bulb. Okay, next distilled water. Distilled water also. Distilled water, of course, ionic product of water and higher classes, you may learn about that. Distilled water ionization is very, very, very less. Very less. Okay, so that is about 10 to the power of minus 40 degrees. If we take 10 to the power of 14, out of 10 to the power of 14, only one water molecule is going to be ionized. 10 to the power of 14 means it's so, 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 huge, no? Okay, out of that only one water molecule is going to be divided. Means the dilution, sorry, sorry, the uh, conversion of ions, the distilled water, distilled water, you know what the form of water? It will decompose as H plus and OH minus. So, it's about ionization, no? So, the ionization property of the distilled water is uh, 
very 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 less so it is not able to conduct the electricity of course how many are going to take uh, mineral water not distilled water no we should not drink the distilled water don't forget about that distilled water is the purest form of water we should not drink the purest form of water we have to take mineral water if you take the purest form of water water is a universal solvent now when you take the pure water what happened it will dissolve the minerals which are present in our body but what we need minerals we need so that the distilled water should be added to the minerals so we have to take mineral water but not distilled water if you connect with the purest form of water we so can layer bisleri or tata water is a very, very pure water i am going to connect so simply connect the electricity okay because it is not in purest form of water distilled water you know about the battery battery are going to add or when in medical shop you absorb in small tubes the distilled water is going to be used the video sir okay so like that and uh, one more question is that prepare your own indicator prepare your own indicator maybe with the help of uh, uh, carrot or maybe with the help of beetroot etc okay we can prepare ourselves by own and generally in examples also there whenever a newly married couple has entered into a home uh, they call as a uh we call it telugu dishti theera vatta okay so of course in that the we add water and some uh so what do you call it like calcium oxide calcium oxide so now okay and uh, some turmeric they will add turmeric is yellow calcium oxide white and water is a colorless but when you add all this different indicator will come, different color will come so those are also the indicators and of course very good traditional of indian trade uh, indian polo no? water as a newly coming people uh, bright people are going to say and calcium oxide and all that's going to mix it and give as a unit this family is a unit internally calcium oxide is different water is different okay a turmeric is different but wholly that should be a fair so that is the scenario Okay, so like that, uh, different uh, questions may be asked. Of course, they may not ask about uh, those things. I am going to say generalized things. Okay, I hope you have understood uh, about this acids, bases, and salts. Okay, once you go through the test book and made your own preparation. Okay, wish you all success, children. Bye.